Our market monitor tonight says it's never too early to be thinking about stocks that will do well in a rising interest rate environment. He's Derek Bruton, CEO uh, with Lucia Capital. Derek, welcome. Welcome. Good to have you with us. Do you really think interest Thank rates you, are going to go up anytime soon? And if so, by how much? You know, I don't think so, Tyler. I think we're really looking at mid to late 2015. Every time I think there might be a, a hike here, we may see the uh, the Fed move off their dovish stance. What we tend to see is more weakness, more spottiness, a little more unevenness in the GDP, whether it be labor, whether it be housing. And so I still think we're, we're not going to really see any moves till uh, late 2015 or so. But these stocks that you're going to mention to us, beginning with NXP semiconductors, you think would be good for the current environment and I guess could uh, benefit or withstand rising rates. Tell me about NXP. You know, NXP is really about Apple Pay. And mm -hmm. I can't I can't say enough about Apple Pay, all the excitement about the iPhone 6. But I really think Apple Pay is really going to transform the world much the same way iTunes did the music world. Uh, what we're seeing right now is NXP is the semiconductor, provides the chip for the phones that communicate with the retailers. Should Alibaba or anybody do anything with Apple Pay? I think this is really going to take off. They're also involved in autos, in, in security for uh, credit cards. I think they're well positioned and they've got a lot of room to run here. Let's move on to another one that has been a hot company, Gilead uh, Sciences. You've got a price target of 135 to 140 uh, over the next 12 months. Uh, why do you love it? Well, I love it because of the just the massive pipeline of drugs they have uh, coming out under review right now, both uh, HIV drugs, uh, cardiovascular. They've gotten a lot of talk right now about their hepatitis C drugs. They're leaders in the industry, first to market. There's nearly over, there's over 100 million uh, treatable patients out there with hepatitis C. I see this stock really being able to take off and taking advantage of its dominance in the market. Let's move on to number three, and that would be Dow Chemical. Dow is just uh, more so than any of its competitors right now, leveraging natural gas and shale oil production. Uh, it's a cash-rich company. You probably saw they increased their dividend by 14 percent. They announced a massive buyback of shares. And they're also doing well to respond to criticism out there about being in unprofitable business lines. They're divesting those business lines, focusing on really strong, high-value chemical and service sales. Overall, uh, Derek, do you like the market where it is today and think it can churn higher? I absolutely do, Tyler. I, I think, you know, we see the spottiness in the market, like in GDP, as I talked about. But I think these are just opportunities to get the dollar cast average back into the market. We did so in October with nearly a 10 percent drop. I think we're on the road with some bumpiness, 3 to 5 percent mm -hmm. corrections, depending on what happens overseas, what happens in some of the earnings reports. Right. But we're, this Santa Claus rally, I think, will take us right into a strong first half of 2015, and then we'll finish off in hopefully high single-digit percentage growth in, in 2015. Well, ho, 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 Derek. Thanks very much. Santa Claus <laughs> rally. Derek Bruton with Lucia Capital.